government members, heads of sectors grilled at NAS meeting. Scientific workshop on solutions to build new rural areas in extreme poor regions. Nagi and strives to build medicinal value chain. Hello, welcome to today's news. Let's get started. On November 6th, the 15th National Assembly continued its sixth meeting with a question and answer session. This is the first time in the 15th term the National Assembly questioned a legislator about the implementation of National Assembly resolution. Government members and heads of sectors will be questioned about the implementation of the National Assembly resolutions approved in the 14th tenure and since the beginning of the 15th tenure. These resolutions refer to important issues that reflect all aspects of socio-economic life and attract people's attention. The Q&A will focus on four main areas including general economics, macroeconomics, sectoral economics, socio-culture, and judiciary matters, internal affairs and state audit. The activity is set to take two days and a half with the hope that the National Assembly's resolutions will come to life and thoroughly solve problems at the grassroots level. In the afternoon of November 6, the Provincial School of Politics just held a scientific workshop on tasks and solutions to build new rural areas in extremely difficult regions in Yi'an province. The workshop is a scientific forum to implement Central Resolution No. 19 on policies related to agriculture and national target program on building new rural areas for 2021-2025. The event also helps to clarify the theoretical and practical basis for building new rural areas in extreme poor regions of Nagian province, contributing to removing barriers and giving a boost to new rural areas, ecological agriculture and smart farmers. Presentations at the workshop focus on many contents such as issues raised in the process of implementing the national target program on building new rural areas in extreme difficult region of Nagian province, developing mechanisms, policies and concentrating resources to accelerate the process of building new rural areas, good models of building new rural areas in mountainous communes, border areas and ethnic minority. Also on November 6th, the Ministry of Cultural, Sports and Tourism just urged the People's Committee of Kuangning Province to guide relevant agencies and investors to review the urban project in the buffer zone of Halong Bay, which stirred strong opposition among public opinion recently. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism states that according the press agencies, the fact the investors dump soil directly into the bay without environmental protection measures will cause pollution, affecting the environment and ecosystems of Ha Long Bay. To prevent negative impacts on the heritage, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism requested the People's Committee of Kuang Nin Province to coordinate with local authorities and investors to urgently inspect the project area and take prompt measures to protect heritage values. The ministry's leaders also emphasized that the province and investors must pay special attention to the assessment of environmental impact during the research and implementation of project as guided by the World Conservation Union. Upcoming next are some updated news. According to statistics, more than 200,000 Vietnamese people die from cardiovascular diseases every year twice higher than those from cancer and accounting for nearly 40% of annual deaths nationwide. One of the reasons for cardiovascular disease become a medical burden is that people have not proactively prevented disease. Many people do not understand about the risk factors and are not aware of adjusting their lifestyle of eating, living, resting, and exercising. Periodic health checkups have also not been paid attention. Besides, the influence of environmental factors and the increase in average life expectancy also lead to an increase in the number of people with atherosclerosis and older people with cardiovascular diseases, causing challenges for the cardiovascular industry. Iranian Defense Minister Mohammad Reza Ashtiani has just sent an ultimatum to the U.S asking Washington to intervene to halt the war in the Gaza Strip and support a peaceful solution to the Israel-Palestine conflict, otherwise Washington will be hit hard. Tasneem News Agency quoted Mr. Astiani, 
Our advice to the Americans is to immediately stop the war in Gaza and implement a ceasefire. Otherwise they will be hit hard. The warning was issued while U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was on an official visit to the Middle East to find a solution for the Gaza Strip conflict. Also related to the Middle East conflict, Turkey agreed to take cancer patients from Gaza after the only one cancer treatment hospital in the Gaza Strip had to shut down. The Turkish Ministry of Health said the decision was made after the country reached an agreement with Egypt to transfer about 1,000 Gazan cancer patients and injured civilians in need of urgent care to Turkey for treatment. These people will be taken to Turkey by plane and ambulance ship. Earlier this month, the Turkey-Palestine Friendship Hospital, the only cancer treatment hospital in Gaza, had to shut down due to lack of fuel after weeks of blockade. This is the 16th hospital to shut down, out of a total of 35 facilities in Gaza since Israel conducted airstrikes in the area. Nian province has great potential and advantages in developing medicinal plants. In recent years, the medicinal plant area witnesses a sharp increase in many localities. Many establishments and cooperatives also build this good value chain from growing, processing and consuming the products. Four years ago, in his land, Mr. Do Duck the has been able to cultivate rice twice a year and earn about 1 million Vietnamese dongs. Since turning to Selenum Procumbens medicinal plants and selling raw materials to tea bag processing facility nearby, he earns much more money. A rod could bring about three, five quintals, excluding producing costs, the net revenue is about 30 million Vietnamese dongs. With stable output, people feel more confident. And a live stream by Tin Sang Duong Agro Pharmaceutical Cooperative to introduce and sell medicinal products made by Thai people in Yen Hop Commune, Kai Hop District. Through live streaming, many products like Black Radix Tea, Gai Leo Tea, and Lak Mean Tea, Soybean Tea, have quickly reached customers nationwide. When producing in a chain with 4.0 technology, the product will be taken with good care at every stage and sent to consumers at the best price. This is also the fastest way to promote and affirm the quality of our products. Nguyen is very rich in medicinal resources. According to a survey, the province has 964 medicinal species. To preserve and promote medicinal resources in Nguyen, it is necessary to boost cooperation with businesses to effectively grow and process products. Developing medicinal plants and pharmaceutical industry is a key development direction, especially in exploiting the potential of the western region of Nguyen, in which, developing and building a chain from production, processing to consumption is an inevitable trend to improve the value of medicinal plants for highland people. Well, it's the end of the show today. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye for now and see you next time.